good evening. Man, it's nice out here. It's Thursday. It's actually the uh, opening night of the NBA Finals for all 12 of you who care about the NBA. I'm actually a fairly big NBA fan. And uh, I'm kind of rooting for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Mainly because their coach is a former Nebraska basketball player. So, his name's Teron Liu. Everyone refers to him as Coach Liu, which is kind of funny. Because I always knew him as a good basketball player. And then he left early. He left after his junior year to go to the NBA. And he was a really, really good scorer in, um, for Nebraska. And then he was basically like a journeyman point guard more or less had limited roles so I bet you guys are glad you tuned in to get a, bio or a biographical background on Teron Liu I've gotten into a borderline bad habit of going out and riding without a riding jacket I always told myself that regardless if it was a hundred degrees out I wouldn't do that I would always ride with gear well that didn't even make it a year as you can see by the shadow, I don't have any gear on. So, anyways, I have to stop by somewhere and drop something off. And then I'll be on my way. Nickname of one of my co-workers. Let's see, where would I put this? All right, put it right there. I'm hoping nobody else is home. Because if so, they're probably looking at me right now out of their upstairs window because they could hear my exhaust. So usually, when I say that I want to, ooh, good practice for starting on a hill. That was, that was terrible, actually. There's just not a good friction zone on this thing compared to the only other bike I have experience on, which is my Kawasaki ZZR. Has so much more. Anyways, oh, hello lady. She was completely lost. Older gal looking for direction. So, usually my intent when I don't wear riding gear is I'm not going to go very far. Um, but then sometimes I end up going on the main road. Which mostly is just a stop. So, or mostly it's just straight, and then I stop, and then I turn back into a neighborhood. So, if I was going to go for a longer ride, yes, I would absolutely wear riding gear. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get to do much riding this weekend. I think I'm actually going to have quite a bit of stuff going on with the fam which is uh, important stuff as well. All right, so I'm actually, as of the recording of this video, which is the same day that I uploaded my last video, and I don't think I'm gonna be bringing you guys videos every night. That would get, uh, that would be overkill. Um, anyways, I'm actually up to 97 subscribers which is 97 more than I probably deserve. So, I always said, way back when I was at like 50, I said something around the lines of, hey, if I hit 100, or if and when I hit 100, I would be doing a giveaway. So I am gonna do a giveaway 
For those of you who only know me as a motorcycle vlogger, I actually collect a lot of stuff. Oh, this this is a circle, isn't it? Okay, good. Okay. So back to my story. I collect a lot of stuff. And uh, one of the things that I collect, I have a lot of flashlights, like really cool tactical style flashlights. And I have a lot of cool like tactical knives. So I'm probably gonna give away, when I hit 100 subscribers, probably gonna give away, man, um, a knife or a flashlight. So, I don't know, it'll be my first giveaway. So I'm not sure how that actually works, giving something away. I mean, obviously I'm gonna have to figure out someone's address. And, uh, or someone's gonna have to send me their address so I can ship it to them. I'll go down this street, get out on a main road for a little bit. So I'll make sure to video what I'm giving away so you guys can see. I wish I could give something related to the rascal away, but I really don't have anything other than my stock parts that I kept. So, and if you have a rascal, I highly doubt you have much need for more stock parts. What a nice night to be out for a ride. If you guys are watching this and you don't ride a motorcycle, I know it's not for everybody. It wasn't for me. I didn't know what I was missing. My whole life I never knew much about motorcycles and then all of a sudden it's like one day I woke up and decided I'm going to take my, get my endorsement and I'm going to sign up for the MSF course and I'm, I don't know anything about motorcycles. Mustang. So, I don't know, it, they are, there's a lot of thoughts about motorcycles. My, growing up it was instilled in me that they're really, really dangerous. I know my boss, he doesn't like them, he thinks they're really dangerous. And you know what, they can be, but a lot of things can be dangerous. I mean, honestly, my, my hobby as a licensed user of explosives, which means I work with 1.3 fireworks, which are the, uh, I guess, in everyday terms, people call them class B, although that's not even a real term. That's a pretty dangerous hobby, actually. I just don't want to, I, I try not to think about how dangerous it is, but it is. A lot can go wrong been part of uh, some mishaps and stuff. Um, I actually have a pretty decent scar on my left forearm from a mishap. A shell going off right in, really close to me. I like to fire everything electronically. But sometimes things can happen. So if you guys are interested in riding motorcycles yeah, I tell you for me it's a stress reliever I just like getting out and riding and it's just a lot of fun it's become a lot more fun ever since I got the rascal compared to the big sport bike just because I like to put around the neighborhood All right, well, I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I doubt I'll be posting this tonight, which is Thursday. I'll probably wait until tomorrow. Ooh, nice bike. 
So have a good weekend. Catch you later. I'll look forward to bringing you the video showing what the uh, giveaway is. Until next time, peace.